another video. Hope everybody's well. Stay uh I wanted to read Deuteronomy chapter six and I'm gonna start at three and I'll stop at seven. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God thy fathers had promised thee, in the land that flowed with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. So, the Lord's hand is stretched out. He's waiting on Israel to return to him so he can set us on high in this uh, and, and give us the kingdom that we're seeking. You know, because he promised our forefathers that he would set the children of Israel in the land that flowed with milk and honey. So, we know we have to keep the Lord's statutes and commandments as he written, you know, to the best of our ability, but we have to keep it, as he said, to this day. You know, and we're still in this day. And see, that's what happened with our forefathers, you know. Our ancestors, you know. They broke the covenant with the Most High and they were sent into slavery and scattered abroad to all four corners of the earth. So the Israelites was taken to all over. Not just America, not just the Caribbean, China, uh, Europe, wherever. But that all happened for our folk, for our forefathers disobeying the Most High, not keeping His commandments. In the Northern Kingdom, going off idol worship and following other doctrines, which caused the Southern Kingdom, well, which caused all of us to be carried away. So. Shalom, I wanted to just go over that right there. That's what that was Deuteronomy chapter 6 uh, and verse 3. So, peace, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.